guys. I am coming on with just a kind of mid-morning, late-morning mindset thought of the day. And I just posted over on Facebook a minute ago that confidence is the major, like, biggest factor in success. It's one of the ultimate factors of being successful in any area of life. Any area. Hello, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Tina. Hey guys. And so one of the things that we that I was thinking about is just how much we don't really connect the dots that in the areas where you're struggling. It's often a confidence issue because you either have had something affect you and affect your confidence in that area, or you haven't been taught to be confident in that area, or you don't have experience, and so you doubt yourself. Good morning. And so this morning I was thinking about how confidence is so crucial. Good morning, afternoon from London. Hi, sweetheart. Confidence is so crucial. In any area where you want to be successful, it is so important that you build confidence and work on building confidence in the areas where you want to see greater results. It takes confidence. Have you guys ever noticed that there are people that you can look at and you, I'm sure you've experienced this on your jobs, you've experienced this personally, family, to where somebody may not be as skilled as you, they may not be as good looking as you, they may not be as fit as you, they may not be as charismatic as you, they may not be uh, as proficient, as educated, or knowledgeable about a subject, but yet there's... They, they got a man or they got a woman or they got the promotion or they started the business or they're getting the clients or they lost the weight because the areas where you're struggling when you look at other people what you have to understand is even when you see people overcome a problem it takes confidence to work on a problem it takes personal confidence to make up your mind that you're going to get a different result. It takes personal confidence to decide, I'm gonna lose this weight, and I mean it. I'm determined to do this, right? It, it takes confidence for you to make up your mind, I'm gonna get married, I'm gonna learn how to date, I'm gonna invest in these properties, I'm gonna invest in the stock market, I'm gonna learn how to do this. I'm going to go on a budget, I'm going, whatever it is, Michelle 1908 says happens all the time in the workforce. They just believe they deserve the next promotion and go for it with no problem. Because confidence is inspiring. Confidence makes people trust you. Confidence makes people believe in you. You don't have to have everything figured out. But if you believe in yourself, that goes a long way in helping others to feel confident in you, to trust you. Now, th let's think about how the lack of confidence can sabotage. You can be absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. You are absolutely amazing. Yet, what does the lack of confidence do? It causes you to hold back. It causes you to say, oh, well, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to think of me. I don't know what they're going to say. I, I mean, I, I don't, I mean, I, I, I don't wanna, want them to think I'm arrogant. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to, I don't want to say too much. I don't want to do too much. Oh, should I wear this? This is probably, um, you know, going to give the wrong impression. When it's what you want to wear and what aligns with you and what makes you feel amazing, but you don't wear it because you're afraid you're gonna give the wrong impression or you're worried about what people think instead of just focusing on your own self and how you feel. 
you understand that how you feel about you determines how you show up in the world. Have you ever noticed, I was, um, you know, I don't watch a lot of TV, but have you ever noticed that, I that's Carrie's coffee. <laughs> have you ever noticed, um, what is that, my 600 pound life, my 500 pound life, that show? Have you guys ever seen some uh, little tidbits of that show? The fi my fi Is it 500 pound life or 600 pound life? Guys, which is it? I forget which it is. Anyway, have you noticed that none of those girls are single? I, have you noticed that those men are not? The majority of the people on my 500 pound, 600 pound life, 600 pound life, thank you, Evelyn. Have you ever noticed that they're not single? Have you ever noticed that their partner is trying to take them to Taco Tuesday and the coach is having to tell them, no, no going to Taco Tuesday with your boyfriend no more. And he's steadily over there. They booed up going to eat their tacos and margaritas. And you over here doubting yourself. Tats and tickets, toxic relationships. Don't always assume it's toxic. He found a big girl and he liked a big girl. He might be big too. They, they live in their best little ha fat, happy lives. Do they need to get healthy? Yes. But they're not single. We can say that you may not be big. You may not be overweight or obese, but you still can trauma bond with somebody. And because it doesn't look outwardly like you're unhealthy, you could still be in a trauma bonded relationship and it's toxic as hell. But you ain't single. There's going to be all kinds of relationships, but you just want somebody and you want it to be healthy. So you work on it together. But back to my main point, confidence. Have you ever seen a big guy or a big girl walk in the room and, and literally they steal all the spotlight in the room? I'm one of them people. I don't care what size I am. I'm going to walk in like I own the room no matter what size I is. Right now, I'm at my biggest. 11, 12, right now. This is, this is my higher weight, right? higher weight and I have to catch myself because what you'll only be seeing videos of me from here up because I feel a little thicky thicky so I don't come on and do full videos I'm not doing reels right I, I'm not I'm not showing you my full body and doing reels and doing stuff and pointing and making my little five steps to da 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 da, da and doing all that why because my confidence, when I get a little bit thicker, is like, oh, you know, it's sexy, you know, it's cute. And then I have to check myself. It's, it's not a coincidence I'm coming on here on wash day with my hair in a bun, making my coffee, right? Showing you full body and talking about confidence. Because I, it, it's often subconscious. The lack of confidence or the self-doubt is often subconscious. 10 pounds less from now, I'll be up here doing reels and trying to dance. And come on, Carrie, let's make a video. Let's dance with this newest TikTok thing. Let's do this. But put on 10 pounds after the show and I'm like, mm, you know, mm, I'm going to get this 10 pounds off before I, right? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to lose this 10, 20 pounds before I start dating. I'm going to lose this 10, 20 pounds before I, you know, t do a photo shoot. I'm going to lose this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Oh, let me get another degree. Come on. Let me get another degree. Let me get another certificate. Let me take another course. Let me read another book. Let me get another certification. Let me go get my doctorate now. I don't quite feel like I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm not qualified yet. Let me, let me uh, go do some more studying. You done study everything. Knock, knock. Hey, baby. My hairdresser's coming in. Do my hair. And so in the meantime, you hold yourself. Oh, no, no, no. You come on. Yeah, lock it back, please. Um, 
In the meantime, you're holding yourself back from living your best life. But what if you never lose the 10 pounds? Haley, hush. My puppies are having a fit. Hush. Hold on, guys. I got to put the puppy away. She's having a fit. Good morning. Good morning. I was just doing a video real quick. Hold on, guys. I'm coming back. Hardy, you get in your house, too. House. House. Hardy, get over here in your house and leave Miss Kim alone. There you go. Okay, guys, I'm coming back. Sorry, I had to put my puppies away. Right? So you hold yourself back because you're saying 10 more pounds, one more degree. One, oh, my business, when it reaches this level, when I start making this much money in my business, I'll start giving business tips. But you have so much knowledge right now. Oh, I'm going to write my book when I finally make it. Oh, I'm going to help others and start posting these tips when I feel validated, when I feel like I'm finally good enough, when I get married, when I buy the house, when I get the car. You put all of these things in place because you want to have an outward projection of success, not realizing that by holding yourself back from doing what God puts on your heart to do and what you know you need to do, you're actually hindering the very success that you want. Confidence is the biggest factor. And you've got to work on your confidence. You've got to intentionally work on your confidence. You have to work on your self-talk. You've got to work on the areas for why you don't believe in yourself when you know you need to believe in yourself. Deal with the root issues that cause you to not believe in yourself. That's right. Coach Jeff, stop holding yourself back. You are needed. Your best life is waiting on you. Your dreams need to be manifested. You're needed. We need you to show up. All right, that's all I got. Kim got to do my hair. I love you guys. Blessings in abundance. Steven, hey, sweetheart. Good. I'm glad you're hearing it, Steven. You got to believe in yourself because you deserve it. You deserve everything that you're dreaming about. You deserve it. All right, I love you guys. Blessings in abundance. Talk to you later. Bye.